Hi, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever time of the day you're watching this Chosen Church family. I want to wish you a happy new month. Welcome to the month of April, the month that we are calling the month that we choose to rest. Praise the Lord. Before I go further in this uh, short video clip, I want to take some moment just to read to you some encouraging words from Jesus our Lord and Savior from the book of Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28. It says, Jesus says, come to me all you who labor and, ha and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. What Jesus was simply saying is this, come and in exchange for you being obedient to you coming, I will give you my rest. And I want to encourage us uh, with this very short clay that I'm, I've decided to send your way. You would agree with me that we need Jesus' rest in the midst of everything that is breaking out in our world. In fact, it looks sometimes as if you don't even know what's happening next. There is so much uncertainties and fears and panic and everything happening all at the same time. But in God's system, he doesn't want us to join the world, the people that don't know anything about the promises of God, to join them in, being, in, in panicking, in being afraid, in living in uncertainty. Jesus says, come and I will give you rest. So I want to encourage you and your family this season, or maybe you're asking, Pastor, what are we supposed to be doing in this season? I want to use this time again to give you some instructions as to what you can do in this season whilst we walk through and journey through this season as a people. I want to encourage you this season to rest in the assurance of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is time more than ever before for you to enter into that rest. Here is what the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 1. Therefore, since a promise remains of entering its rest, let us fear lest any of you seem to have come short of it. In other words, God's promises over your life, over every area of your life has not changed. Regardless of the circumstances that is happening in our world and right now, the reality is that we have victories in Christ. Glory to God. We have victory in Christ and we've called this year a year of victories. So maybe you're wondering what is going on all around me. I thought I have victory. Yes, you do have the victory. No devil in hell, no enemy can, uh, can cause you not to be in victory regardless of what they do. But in this season, I want to encourage you, this is not the time to wish the season away. This is not the time to just fold your arms and just wish, my goodness, let me just kick back and just wait for the season to come to an end. When we say rest, when we say we choose to rest, what we are saying is we are actively engaging and we are entering uh, literally consciously, like we said at the beginning of the year, it's time to be intentional. Be intentional that nothing is going to steal my peace. Nothing is going to cause me to walk in panic or in fear. It is the time for you more than ever before to get to know your God. To invest time into uh, inquiring and seeking His face in prayer, in fasting, in being at His feet, in just uh, resting in His goodness and the finished work of Jesus Christ. And as we celebrate this season of Easter as well, I want to encourage you, it is time to enter into the finished work of Jesus Christ again. Or perhaps you find yourself, you are beginning to somehow, beginning to take on the burdens and the weight and everything that this world has to offer you. I want to encourage you that this season of entering its rest, it's time to remind yourself that God is still at work in my life. He that began a good work in you, he will be faithful to bring it to completion. Remember the Bible tells us in Isaiah chapter 9 that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. So this season, I want to encourage you more than ever before, make a conscious effort, make a conscious decision, join the services online, join the prayer time, and don't just allow yourself to just go with the flow. 
God has not called us to go with the flow. It is time for us to get to know him. And here is what I want to also say to you. This is a season for you to prepare for the season that we're going to be entering into. Use this season to get to grow in your faith. As you study the word of the Lord, as you listen to all the messages that we have preached and all the notes that you've been taking, this is the season for you to just walk in that peace that Jesus came to give you and I. And I'm praying over you and your family that in the name of Jesus, the peace of the Lord that passes all understanding is going to garrison your heart. Here is what Philippians says. It says not to be anxious for anything, but in all things through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. So I want to encourage you, don't be anxious for anything. God who looks after everything, everybody else, he is going to look after you and it's all going to be okay. So I pray over you right now that in the name of Jesus, I pray for that grace to be able to enter into that rest and rest in the finished work of Jesus that he accomplished for you and I over 2,000 years ago. Hey, we're getting ready to celebrate the death burial and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ more than ever before let's celebrate what he has already done for us because we are the righteousness of God in Christ and we are simply chosen God bless you I look forward to seeing you soon I love you we love you on behalf of my wife and I and the entire leadership we love you God bless you do have a wonderful time have a wonderful April do not let anything to tamper with your peace in Jesus' name, God bless you till we see you again. Thank you.